what is up guys prodigy here if you guys did not know today destiny received an update they buffed up the vex they buffed up the red death they buffed up the bad juju and a bunch of other exotics including the thorn the plant c they nerfed some of them and we're gonna go ahead and go over in this video the vex the red death and the bad juju while doing the daily mission Another thing that you can tell is that they updated or they buffed up the rewards that you get from doing dailies. As you can see, depending on what planet you're going to, for example, we're going to Venus right now for the daily. You pick up Spirit Bloom. So the reward is going to be Spirit Bloom. You're going to have a total of 16 when you're doing it at level 28, Vanguard 5, Cryptarch, uh, Engram, and two Ascendant Materials. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this baby up and see how these weapons plan out. All right, so we went ahead and landed. The first weapon that we're gonna be testing out is the Bad Juju. We're gonna go ahead and head to the area where the minions or fallens are gonna be at and continue on this mission. The sad thing is that my Bad Juju is not fully upgraded, but I have all of the abilities upgraded so we can actually see what it does. I heard that now we can have an eight round burst. I'm not sure about this. They also updated the visual. As you can see, the little green thing, the green uh, the thing in front of the weapon is not in front of your face anymore. It's still noticeable, you can easily see it, but when you're aiming, it doesn't really block your view. So again, if you guys wanna see where, it's my, where my bad juju is at, just in case if you want to, here it is, it's missing three damage upgrades, but I have all of the other upgrades, and we're gonna try it out. I don't know, it doesn't sound like, it's still a force burst, I don't know, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So if, the thing with the bad juju is if you kill something, you won't have to reload it. That's the good thing about the bad juju. Uh, if you kill something, you don't have to reload the weapon. And as you can see, always stays at 20, I think 25 is the max. Let's see, 24. But every time we kill something, we won't have to reload this weapon. It's doing 99 damage. That's pretty cool, actually, if you ask me. You never have to reload. They definitely buffed it up. This is much better. You definitely need to hit those crit shots. Those crit shots do a bonus amount of damage. The only time I see this is gonna be a problem is when you're killing something that doesn't die with a burst or i mean within a clip as long as you keep as long as you can kill something with a clip you'll be fine i mean without like running out of ammo let's see we're gonna run into something later on like maybe a captain or something or maybe oh there you go and i actually killed him i actually love it now i love it but I don't know if it can replace my Galahorn, man. It's so hard to replace a Galahorn. Remember, guys, when you give out on a exotic primary, you're going to have to give out on the Galahorn or a Icebreaker, which is a really amazing weapons. Like, for example, this guy. I'm not going to be able to kill him without reloading, so that's where it fails. So what you would want to do normally is while you're about to run out of ammo, you want to go ahead and kill something so you don't even have to reload ever. Like something with less health. Now, for example, I can't kill this guy. I'm gonna have to reload. Now I'm missing, of course. But the reload is actually pretty fast, so it's not like you're wasting a lot of time. But I don't know. You guys can be the judges. Remember, we still have three bonus upgrades for damage. Hey man, stop moving. We wanna see, I'm gonna kill you. All right, after this part, we're gonna go ahead and try out the Vex. The Vex is fully upgraded. Uh, they reduced the mag size. The upgrade was 56 now the, or 53, and now it's down to you know what? Let's go with the red death. We're gonna leave the vex for last since it's the most upgraded one. I'm gonna go ahead and move up to the next area. What they did with the red death is that they increased its fire rate, but they reduced the damage a little bit. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where my red death is up to. We have all the abilities unlocked except the last three damage upgrades so these weapons are not to its full potential they will do more damage so they will be much better uh let's go ahead and see how better the fire rate is on this weapon it was actually really slow 
And that's the only thing that stopped me from using this weapon because the ability is great. It has a great ability where if you kill something, health regeneration starts instantly. It does more damage than the bad juju. But the only thing is you have to reload it. But again, remember the ability that it has is that when you kill something, your health, regener health regeneration is immediate. Uh, the fire rate is definitely much better. It feels like more like an M16 or something from Call of Duty, which is it's always nice. But after using the bad juju, I don't even feel like reloading anymore. And I'm not taking damage, so it's really not that much useful. Maybe in PvP, this would this weapon would be much better now. I gotta have to go ahead and try it in PvP. Maybe pulse rifles are gonna be the way to go now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch now to the Bex to see what they did to that weapon. It's the strongest weapon in the game at the moment, just for the fact that it goes up to 323. For example, I'll show you now exactly what I mean. Um, let's go ahead and hide in this corner while we switch. We're gonna go ahead and switch up to the Vex. For example, all the legendary weapons, when they're fully maxed out, as you can see, they go up to 300. These goes to 300, this goes to 300. Even exotics, when they're fully maxed out, for example, here's my Fusion Rifle, 300. Here's the Gallahorn, 300. But when you go to the Vex, it says 323. So supposedly there's going to be a weapon that's going to help us out a lot in the next new raid because they're going to be, uh, you know, bosses that are level 32 or 33, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. So this is going to be a really good weapon that's going to help us carry us through the next raid. Uh, again, one of the things they did to the Vex is they upgraded. Well, not really. They're supposedly a bug, so it wasn't letting it go to its max damage. But, um... It's stronger now, but they reduced the mag size from 35 to, uh, to, from 56 to 35. It went from 56 to 35. Uh, it had an ammo upgrade, so you can go all the way to 56, but now you could only go to 35. I don't know what's the base upgrade. Was it like 25 now then? Or 30? I don't know. I have to test that out. Uh, it seems like it's a lot stronger, a lot better. They're not taking as much damage. And remember, guys, the buff was only for PvE. Player versus environment. It's It wasn't in PvP. It, the Vex is going to be the same in PvP. But uh, it's the upgrade was only received in uh, PvE. It seems much stronger. I can tell that it's a little bit stronger. I mean, not that much of a difference. I miss spraying my bullets. Uh, normally when you have 56 shots in the clip, you can just blah, 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 just, just spray your way through everything. Uh, but, uh, the, the damage boost does make a difference. So we're almost done with this, uh, daily. Let's go ahead and see what we get as a reward at the end. I know we're getting 16, uh, spirit bloom, which I definitely need. Oh man, I'm actually liking the Vex now. It's definitely much better. It's going to be better against higher levels as well. For example, if you guys did not know, when you go to the weapon itself and you highlight over it and you click Y or triangle if you're on the X, uh, PlayStation, uh, right here when you highlight over it under attack, higher attack allows your weapon damage to higher level opponents so when we're doing like the vault of glass on level 30 or the raid the next new raid is going to be like level 32 this weapon is going to do more damage and right now we're only fighting people that are level 28 because that's the max level you can set the daily event to so now there's going to be a bunch of people coming out these doors to the right don't want to die I can't get meleeed by them. They have bonus damage, so I gotta watch out for their melee. Uh, where are they at? But it's definitely much stronger. I can easily tell there's a difference in it, mostly in the crits. Even though it used to be stronger than this. I think this weapon used to be stronger when it first came out. But I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely sh much stronger. Eyeball, stop shooting at me. I'm not even using my rockets. I can make everything faster and better, but, uh, oh shit. Hey man, let's get this over with. Happy birthday to you. 
Leave me alone, you bastard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep going. We're going to go get the final boss, and we should be done. Let's reload this rocket. Okay, it's fully reloaded. Open the door. Get weapon of light. Boom. Boom. I had three rockets. I don't know why I started reloading so early. I hate this guy. He hides in the back unless you go in. I'm going to go ahead and just spray this in here to clear those guys out. And he's somewhere in the back. I know that. He doesn't move until you go inside. Once cow. you go inside, he'll start moving. You see? Got two more rockets. Oh, he sh he's jumping. Man. Oh, he's jumping, man. Got one more rocket. And this should finish him off. Level 28 daily complete. Time to spray. Spray, 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 spray. All right, so we got to send it. Uh, energy. Drax We're gonna get 16 spirit bloom, which is I love, because I need to level up my fate bringers. And uh, let's just wait for the rewards, see what we get out of it. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please be sure to drop a like. I'm trying to, uh, you know, do better on YouTube. We're trying to hit 200,000 subscribers. And the only way we're going to make this faster is if you guys decide to help out more by leaving a like, by sharing the video, by retweeting it, you know, just putting it out there. You guys will help out and we can get to 200,000 subscribers, hopefully before Christmas. That would be a great goal. So there you go. Ascendant Energy and a Blue Engram and uh, they don't show the other stuff or did they show it at the end that I got my Spirit Bloom? I think they're going to show it now. Yep, there you go. 16 Spirit Bloom. That's the daily event for you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you can please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.